today uh, we've announced the strike ballots of uh, uh, our members across the UK. Three different ballots because of the law, but in each case we have uh, uh, decisively uh, beaten the threshold set uh, in the anti-union legislation and our members have voted overwhelmingly for strike action. Uh, that's the decision that's been made today. Uh, and that reflects the anger of our members on falling pay, falling living standards uh, over 12 years, year after year of low or below pay or below inflation pay rises. And while our members are very proud of the job they do and they want to serve their communities, they've also got to pay the bills, the rent and the mortgage, and they're increasingly struggling to do that. So we uh, have asked to meet the fire service employers within 10 days. We've agreed not to call any strike action during that 10 day period. Uh, I'm pleased that the employers have agreed to meet us and that will take place on the 8th of February. And my message to them is this, that uh, they have messed us around since June of last year, offering silly and insulting pay offers that our members have clearly rejected uh, it's taken this long for them to wake up. I hope they have finally woken up to the level of anger among their staff, our members, at falling pay in the fire service. And I hope the government have woken up to how serious the situation is. I hope that on the 8th of February, they will turn up with a much better pay proposal, one that is serious enough for us to put to our members. If they do that, we're very clear, as we did in their last pay offer, we, we put that to our members. Our members decided in a secret ballot that it wasn't good enough. I hope they will come up with a, an offer that our members decide is good enough. That's where we want to get to, and we can avoid a strike if they do that.